Right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing, fin number 312-312-654-654-987-987. Date of birth, January 1, January 1, 1960, 1960, Doctor Skills Lab, Doctor Skills Lab. It has been transcribed on the physician's order sheet. It has also been transcribed on the MAR. Right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing. Right medication, K-Flex oral suspension, K-Flex oral suspension. Right dose, 200 milligram, 200 milligram. Right root, per oral, per oral. Right time to give it, three times a day, three times a day. Given on March 12, 2020, given at 0800. Right now time is 0750, so it's okay to give K-Flex oral suspension. Right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing. Right medication, Timolol 0.5 eye drop, Timolol 0.5 eye drop. Right dose, one drop, one drop. Right root to the left eye to the left eye. Right time to give it daily, daily, given on March 12, 2020, given at 2200. Right now time 750, so do not give Timolol eye drop. Right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing. Right medication, ferrosamide, ferrosamide. Right dose, 80 milligram, 80 milligram. Right root, per oral, per oral. Right time to give it, twice a day, twice a day, given on March 12, 2020, given at 0800. Right now time 0750, so it's okay to give ferrosamide. Next medication, Right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing. Right medication, metclopramide, metclopramide. Right dose, five milligram, five milligram. Right root, per oral, per oral. Right time to give it, three times a day, three times a day, given on March 12, 2020, given at 0800. Right now time is 0750, so it's okay to give metclopramide. That's my first check. He does not have any known allergies. I will now perform hand hygiene. I'll put the physician's order sheet away. And now, I'm going to get my medications. Can I borrow the phone? Thanks, and now first here is my MAR, and now I will get all my medications. First here is my K-Flex oral suspension, and I'm checking it is not expired. K-Flex is not expired. That is my K-Flex oral suspension. Next medication I'm going to need to get is I'm going to need to get my ferrosamide tablet. I'm checking and my ferrosamide is not expired. Next medication I need to get is my metclopramide oral tablet. Here is my metclopramide oral tablet and I'm checking and it is not expired. Okay, now what I do is I perform hand hygiene and now I get all my medications. K-Flex is 200 milligrams of it. It requires two, it is 250 milligram per five ml. So therefore I need to get four mls to make it 200 milligram. Now I have my med cup here and I also have my syringe. First thing I will do is I will shake the oral suspension and the particles have all dissolved and now I will pour up my K-Flex oral suspension, 200 milligrams of it. And now I will cap the bottle. 250 mLs of K-Flex and now I will drop the K-Flex I will need 200 milligrams of K-Flex oral suspension, which is four mLs of it. Four mLs of K-Flex oral suspension. All right, and now I will put the cap to the side like this. Now I need to hit it a few more times. Here's my K-Flex oral suspension. That's a little bit better. There's still some little bubbles. Better. Okay. 
And here is exactly four mLs. Here, this cup goes in the med waste. Here is four mLs of my K-Flex oral suspension. If you can see the four, and then I'm going to spin it around. Here is four mLs of K-Flex oral suspension. And now I will write down about it. First, I will cap it. And now I will write down about it. This is for um, Jake Nursing. There's four mLs, good. And this is K-Flex PO suspension. And the right dose of it is to give 200 milligrams. And that means I need to give four mLs of it. That is because it is 250 milligrams per five mLs. And it's to be given on March 12, 2020, given at 0750, given by me, HYL University Manitoba student nurse second year. And that is my K-Flex oral suspension and its label. Here is my K-Flex oral suspension label. And next medication I need to get is I need to get my um, furosemide oral tablet. So furosemide is 80 milligrams needed. It's 40 milligram per one tablet. Therefore, I need to give two tablets of furosemide. Here it is, 40 milligrams. And now I will get my furosemide, two tablets of furosemide. And now, here is my two tablets of furosemide. If you could see, here's my two tablets of furosemide. And now I will write down about it. This is for um, Jake Nursing. And this is the furosemide oral tablet. And this is um, furosemide PO tablet. And the right dose of it is to give 80 milligrams, which is two tablets that is because it is 40 milligrams per one tablet. And the right time to give it is March 12, 2020, given at 0750, given by me, HYL, University of Manitoba student nurse second year. And that is my furosemide oral tablet. Two tablets and here it is. Here's my label for furosemide, given at 0750. Lastly, I will need to get my metclopramide oral tablet. Mar says I need five milligrams. It's five milligram per one tablet. Therefore, I need one tablet of metclopramide. I need one tablet of metclopramide. And now I will, uh, I will obtain one tablet. One tablet of metclopramide, if you could see. Here's my one tablet of metclopramide. And now I will throw it in here. And now I will write down about metclopramide. And now, here's my methclopramide oral tablet. This is for um, Jake Nursing. And this is methclopramide um, PO tablet. And the right dose is to give five milligrams, which equals one tablet. That is because it is five milligrams per one tablet. And the right date and time to give it is March 12, 2020 given at 0750 given by me, HYL, University of Manitoba student nurse second year. And now here's my label for my metclopramide oral tablet. And now can I borrow the phone for a second? Here is everything. Here's my K-Flex oral suspension. And then here is my furosemide oral tablet and my metclopramide oral tablet, one tablet of metclopramide, one tablet of furosemide, and four mLs of K-Flex. K-Flex, four mLs. If you see exactly four mLs. Okay, and now I will do my second check. Right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing. Right medication, Right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing. Right medication, K-Flex oral suspension, K-Flex oral suspension, K-Flex oral suspension, K-Flex oral suspension. Right dose, 200 milligrams, 200 milligrams. It's 250 milligram per five mLs, and I have exactly four mLs to make it 
I have four mLs to make it 200 milligrams. Right root, per oral, per oral, this is an oral suspension, and this is an oral suspension. Right time to give it, three times a day, given given three times a day on March 12, 2020, given at 0800. Right now time is 0750, so it's okay to give K-Flux oral suspension. Next medication, right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing, right medication, ferrosamide oral tablet, ferrosamide oral tablet, ferrosamide oral tablet, ferrosamide oral tablet. Right dose is 80 milligrams, 80 milligrams, it's 40 milligram per one tablet. And what I have here is two tablets to make it 80 milligrams, because it's 40 milligram per one tablet, so I have two tablets. Right root, per oral, Per oral, this is an oral tablet. This is an oral tablet. Right time to give it. Twice a day, given on March 12, 2020, given at 0800. Right now, time is 0750, so it's okay to give ferrosamide oral tablet. Next medication, metclopramide. Take a look here. Metclopramide, right patient, Jake. Right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing, right medication, metclopramide oral tablet, metclopramide oral tablet, metclopramide oral tablet, metclopramide oral tablet. Right dose, five milligrams, five milligrams. It is five milligrams per one tablet, and I have one tablet here to make it five milligrams. Right root, per oral, Per oral, this is an oral tablet. This is an oral tablet. Right time to give it. Three times a day, given on March 12, 2020. March 12, 2020, given at 0800. And right now, time is 0750, so it's okay to give metclopramide oral tablet. And that is my second check. Now I will put my medication containers away. And now I will take my MAR with me, put my medications on a tray. Here's my K-Flex oral suspension. Here is my ferrosamide oral tablet. And here is my metclopramide oral tablet. I also need to get a pen and a pencil. In a real scenario, in a real hospital scenario, you would never use a pencil, but just for this video, I'm using a pencil. I would also need to get a water cup so my patient can, so my patient can drink his medication. And I have all my medications now, my K-Flex oral suspension, my ferrosamide oral tablet, and also my metclopramide oral tablet. And now I will head over to the bedside. K-Flex oral suspension, ferrosamide oral tablet, metclopramide oral tablet. And now upon entering the bedside, what I do is I do a safety check. My safety check includes checking the patient's alertness, awakeness if he's in any pain, and if all the equipment such as the call bell is working. Now I head over to the bedside, do my safety check, patient is alert, awake, not in any pain, and his call bell is working, and all his other equipment is working. Now, hello sir, my name is Hong Yang Lin, I'm a University of Manitoba student nurse second year, and I'm here to administer some medications for you today. First of all, can I quickly take a look at your wristband? My name is Hong Yang Lin, University of Manitoba student, nurse second year, here to give you some medications. I'll look at his wristband, I say to myself, it's Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing, fin number 312-312-654-654-987-987. Date of birth, January 1, January 1, 1960, 1960. Doctor Skills Lab, Doctor Skills Lab. Now what I do is I raise up the head of his bed so that he is in a sitting position. Now that he's in a sitting position, he can eat his oral medications. I now perform hand hygiene. Sir, can you please tell me your full name? And can you also tell me your date of birth? And do you have any allergies? Your full name, your date of birth, and if you have any allergies. No, now I do my third check. My third check, right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing. Right medication, K-Flex oral suspension, K-Flex oral suspension, K-Flex oral suspension. Right dose, 200 milligrams, 200 milligrams. It is 250 milligrams per five mLs, and I need four mLs, and I have four mLs in order to make it. I have four mLs in order to make it uh, 200 milligrams. Right root, per oral, per oral, and this is an oral suspension. Right time to give it, three times a day, given on March 12, 2020, given at 0800. Right now time 0750, so it's okay to give K-Flex oral suspension. Next medication, right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing, and Jake Nursing. Right medication, ferrosamide oral tablet, ferrosamide oral tablet, ferrosamide oral tablet. Right dose, 80 milligrams, 80 milligrams. It is 40 milligram per one tablet. I have two tablets in there to make it 80 milligrams. Right root, per oral, per oral, and this is an oral tablet. Right time to give it, twice a day given on 
and right time to give it twice a day on March 12, 2020, given at 0800. Right now, time is 0750, so it's okay to give furosemide oral tablet. Next medication, right patient, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing, Jake Nursing. Right medication, metclopramide oral tablet, metclopramide oral tablet, metclopramide oral tablet. Right dose, five milligrams, five milligrams. It's five milligram per one tablet. I have one tablet to make it five milligram. Right root, per oral, per oral, and this is an oral tablet. Right time to give it, right time to give it, three times a day on March 12, 2020, given as 0800, right now times 0750, so it's okay to give metclopramide oral tablet. That is my third check. I'll now perform hand hygiene. What I know is that before I give Jake Nursing his K-Flex oral suspension, I know that it's an antibiotic used to treat bacterial infections. Side effects of K-Flex antibiotic is it causes some nausea and vomiting. Before I give K-Flex oral suspension though, what I need to do is check his full set of vital signs, check his kidney and liver function, check his fluid and electrolyte levels, inspect his area of bacterial infection, and also check his temperature because a fever is often accompanied with a bacterial infection. Those are the checks before giving K-Flex suspension. Before I give him his furosemide oral tablet though, what I know is that furosemide is a medication that is, what I know is that furosemide is a medication that is used to lower your, the amount of fluid in your body in order to make you lower your blood pressure. Side effects of furosemide, side effects of furosemide is it may cause some dizziness and drowsiness and headaches. Ferrosamide is used to lower blood pressure. Before I give ferrosamide though, I need to check his vital signs, his kidney and liver function, and his blood pressure. Pay close attention to his blood pressure, because if his blood pressure is way too low, then I do not give ferrosamide. Lastly, before I give him his metclopramide, I know that metclopramide is a medication that is used to decrease the feelings of vomiting, decrease heartburn, and increase stomach and intestinal motility. Side effects of metclopramide is it may cause Side effects of metclopramide is it may cause some um, drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. Before I give metclopramide though, I need to check his vital signs and ask the patient if he's feeling any stomach and abdominal pain and has any heartburn feelings or has vomited recently. Now, Mr. Jake Nursing, I'm now about to administer to you your K-Flex oral suspension, which is an antibiotic that is used to treat your bacterial infection. Side effects of K-Flex is it may cause some nausea and vomiting. Do keep in mind when you take K-Flex at home by yourself though, if you no longer feel like you have a fever, you should also inspect your bacterial infection and contact your doctor to see if you still need to take K-Flex because if your fever is gone, it might mean that your bacterial infection is also gone. But as of now, I've assessed that you do have a fever and a bacterial infection. Do you wish to take your K-Flex? Yes, he does. I now give him his K-Flex oral suspension. He drinks some water with it. He has fully swallowed the medication. And now I document K-Flex was given on 0750, given by me, HYL, University of Manitoba student nurse second year. And that is K-Flex oral suspension. Mr. Jake Nursing, I'm now about to give you your furosemide oral tablet, which reduces the amount of fluid in your body and lowers your blood pressure. Furosemide lowers your blood pressure. Side effects of furosemide is it may cause some headaches, drowsiness, and is it may cause some headaches, drowsiness, and dizziness. Do keep in mind when you take furosemide at home though, if you're feeling lightheaded, drowsy, or dizzy, you should assess your blood pressure, check your own blood pressure to see because if your blood pressure is way too low, then it's very dangerous to take furosemide. But as of now, I've checked that your blood pressure is very high and your blood pressure is very high, so it's okay to take furosemide. Do you wish to take your furosemide? Yes, he does. I give him his furosemide oral tablet. He drinks some water with it and he has fully swallowed the medication and I, give, and I document it was given on 0750, given by HYL, University of Manitoba student nurse second year. Lastly, Mr. Jake Nursing, what I'm going to do is give you your metclopramide oral tablet. What I need to let you know is metclopramide is a medication that's used to prevent the feeling of vomiting and prevent, prevent you from vomiting, prevent the feelings of heartburn and increase your stomach and intestinal motility. Side effects of metclopramide though is it may cause some drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. Do keep in mind when you take metclopramide at home by yourself though, it's very well known to make you feel it's very well known to make you feel very, very drowsy. So after taking metclopramide, I would advise against, so do not do any focused tasks such as driving. But as of now, I've assessed that you do have feelings of heartburn and you 
have been vomiting recently and you do complain of stomach and abdominal pain. Do you wish to take your metclopramide? Yes, he does. I give him his metclopramide. He drinks some water with it. He has fully swallowed the medication and I document it was given on 0750 given by HYL University Manitoba student in their second year. And that is the metclopramide oral tablet. Now, can I borrow the phone? So here is my completed MAR where I documented everything with signed KFLEX oral suspension, ferrosamide oral tablet, and metclopramide. And now that is everything. And here's my completed labels. Here's everything. And now what I will need to do is low what I will need to do is now do an exit safety check. Thank you, Mr. Jake Nursing. If the side effects are very much bothering you, let me or another nurse know about it. I will now lower his bed to the bottom position, but keep him in sitting position to prevent aspiration of oral medications. Uh, keep him in the sitting position and make sure his call bell is within reach so that his call bell is readily accessible. And now I do an exit safety check to, to make sure the hallway is not cluttered and the patient is feel uncomfortable. And every, and every 30 minutes or so, what I need to do is assess his um, full set of vital signs, check his kidney and liver function, fluid and electrolyte levels, and assess his temperature and the site of his bacterial infection because he took K-Flex. And because he took ferrosamide, I need to check his vital signs, kidney and liver function, and pay very close attention to his blood pressure because he took because he took ferrosamide, I pay close attention to blood pressure. Lastly, because he took metclopramide every 30 minutes, I would also need to check his vital signs, ask him if he's still been vomiting, if he still feels the feelings of heartburn, and ask him if he feels any stomach and intestinal pain. Can I roll the phone? Thanks. One last time, I'll show you that I've completed everything. Here's my labels.